Hello, friends, back with another AI breakdown demo. Today, we're trying out Agent GPT. Now, a lot of you will have seen my test of God mode, which is an implementation of something like an auto GPT or a baby AGI, or at least inspired by them. And today, I wanted to try another one of the prominent AI creation or AI agent creators in your browser, which is Agent GPT. Now, something that a lot of folks have noticed around these first implementations, or at least these implementations of auto GPT type bots that are trying to make it easy for people who don't have coding skills is that they tend to get a lost in loops, right? They don't necessarily get all the way to actually doing the thing that they've set out to do. So we're going to see how this does. I have probably a little bit more reasonable expectations than I might have had when I was trying out God mode first. Either way, we'll learn a lot. And so let's try something a little bit different. With the God mode trial, the demo, I did a little bit too abstract a task, I think, or at least there was enough meat on the bone. I just said, let's grow the YouTube by 10,000 subscribers. And ultimately what it decided to suggest was go create this type of content and make a calendar and here's your schedule during the week. And it was cool. It was useful in the sort of way that it might have been useful had I was just talking to chat GPT and asking what the steps to growing a YouTube following were. But let's see with agent GPT if it actually could go a step farther in terms of doing anything, or if again, it's just going to be a sort of more mediated process of giving some feedback on how to go from one to implementation of an idea. So for this one, I think that we should try an e-commerce bot. And I think the goal should be create a new e-commerce store to sell images created with AI. All right, so let's deploy the agent and see what happens. So the tasks that it has added, research and select a suitable e-commerce platform, develop an AI algorithm for creating unique and high quality images, design an attractive and user-friendly website, develop a marketing strategy to attract potential buyers to the new e-commerce store for AI generated images. And it's still thinking now. It's just added another task, develop a system to automatically categorize and tag images based on their content to streamline the process of adding new images to the e-commerce store. But I think it's also now trying to actually go into and do its tasks. So let's see how that's going. So the first task, research and select a suitable e-commerce platform for selling images. It says, after conducting research on various e-commerce platforms, I recommend Shopify as the most suitable platform for selling images created with AI. Next, it's executing develop an AI algorithm for creating unique and high quality images. Now, the interesting thing here is that instead of just picking mid journey or stable diffusion or something like that, it's actually trying to develop a new version of those things. So it says, to develop an AI algorithm for creating unique and high quality images, I will need access to a large data set of high quality images as well as an understanding of the desired output. This is a little bit, um, let's call it taking the hard road. Next it says, executing design an attractive and user-friendly website interface. As an AI, I have analyzed the requirements. The homepage of the website would have a simple yet engaging representation, blah, 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 blah. So it's here talking about what the website needs to include. It doesn't necessarily say how it's going to actually build that website. So that's another thing that we will come back to. And now it says this agent has maxed out on loop and is shutting down. Let's try this again. Actually, let's try this again and suggest that it uses the AI tool mid journey and see if it can figure that out or another similar text to image tool. Maybe that will help it out a little bit. Okay, so let's check to see what tasks it came up with this time instead. We've got research and analyze existing e-commerce platforms. That one was the same. Develop a comprehensive marketing platform. That was the same or comprehensive marketing plan, excuse me. Integrate mid-journey or another suitable text to image tool into the e-commerce store. That one's new. Obviously, we had not given it that specification last time. It tried to just rebuild mid-journey or something like it from the ground up. And then the new one here, develop a plan to integrate Shopify with mid-journey or another suitable text to image tool to ensure seamless and efficient operation of the online store. Next, integrate social media sharing buttons on the e-commerce store website to encourage customers to share products they purchased. Next, design a visually appealing and user-friendly e-commerce store website layout that showcases the high quality images created by Midjourney or other similar text to image tools. Now, I'm not sure if it's getting more of these tasks because we narrowed the parameters to using Midjourney or just because we increased its ability to pull on information. 
let's go up and start to see how it's actually thinking about executing these. So, research and analyze existing e-commerce platforms. Again, it comes up with Shopify. It's good to see that it's made the same analysis twice. Develop a comprehensive marketing plan. Let's see what it includes here. Target audiences, individuals and businesses who are looking for high quality images. Create a brand strategy. Next step is to create a brand strategy, develop a content strategy. So this is, I think, where the lack of specificity starts to really hurt these things. This is really just the super generic, here's all the steps that you would take to do this if you were on your own, but it doesn't have any context, right? Mid-journey images can mean so many different things. And there's a part of me that wants to specify and narrow it down even more. Maybe we'll try to actually give it a target so that it can do things a little bit better. Now, this one's interesting. It says executing integrate mid-journey or other suitable text-to-image tool into the e-commerce store, ensuring seamless and efficient operation. This is tax execution successful. Midjourney has been integrated into the e-commerce store, but that's strange. It, has it actually created an e-commerce store? If we go back up to see, it just suggests Shopify, but presumably it hasn't actually created a Shopify store yet. So it's interesting that the way that it's framing things is that it has successfully executed that task. Next, develop a plan to integrate Shopify with Midjourney. Next step, executing. Integrate social media sharing buttons on the e-commerce store website to encourage customers to share products they purchase on their social media accounts. Next step, executing design a visually appealing and user-friendly e-commerce site. It just keeps adding more and more steps. So I think, I'll pause here for just a second. The thing that I believe people are very excited about these sort of auto GPTs or AI agents doing is not just coming up with the list of steps, although this is extremely useful and helpful for anyone who's trying to think through what could make a project come to life and what steps they need to take to do so. I think what people are looking for or hoping for is for these tools to take the next step to actually go start the implementation and the execution of these tasks. So when it says you Shopify, I think that people's expectations when they hear autonomous AI agent is for it to go create a Shopify account. Now, in many cases, that's going to be dictated by what the tool in question or the platform that it needs to interact with can do in terms of these autonomous agents as well. But I think that that's where we're seeing a little bit of a disconnect perhaps between what people are imagining in their heads and what these tools are actually doing. And now before we leave Agent GPT, I want to do one more test and I want to get even more specific. Let's give it a specific goal. So let's call it the background builder. And let's say use mid journey or other text to image tool to create patterns, visual backgrounds that YouTubers can use for thumbnails and then sell them on an e-commerce platform like Etsy or Shopify. So this is obviously much more granular. Here we are specifying not just suggestions for the tools to be used, but who the actual buyer that we're imagining is and how the product, in this case, patterns and visual backgrounds that can be used for thumbnails, what they're actually buying. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on here. We've got task, develop a deep learning model that can create visually appealing patterns or backgrounds based on given keywords. Integrate mid-journey into text to image or other text to image tool into the system to generate visual content. Implement an e-commerce platform API. Integrate the deep learning model into the system. Develop a user-friendly interface for users to input keywords or content. Implement an online payment system to enable users to purchase. Develop a system to ensure quality control. Implement a marketing strategy. Provide customer support to users who purchase and download the generated visual content. Develop a system and track sales and analyze user behavior. I think I'm going to stop here because I think that we can observe a few things that are just very similar to what we've seen. First, kind of makes things a lot harder than it seems like it needs to be. Develop a deep learning model that can create visually appealing patterns rather than just using mid-journey to do that. And then it has all of these different steps that 
really show, I think, again, high utility in terms of helping someone think through what it is that they might need to do to go from an idea to implementation, but don't necessarily reflect the optimal path between them. So just for comparison's sake, let's go to chat GPT and see how it would go about something similar like this. So let's use the 3.5 model that's the same as I think was being used with agent GPT. So we're not giving it the, uh, the benefit of four too. And let's ask the same question. Let's say, hi, if I wanted to create a business using Midjourney or another text to image tool to create patterns and visual backgrounds that YouTubers can use for thumbnails and then sell them on an e-commerce platform like Etsy or Shopify, what would my steps be? So here we're defining this rather than saying, go implement this, we're saying, what should we do? So let's see how similar the results are to what we got from Agent GPT. So research the market, develop the product, set your e-commerce platform, promote your product, provide excellent customer service, monitor your business. Thanks. Which e-commerce platform would you suggest? Both Etsy and Shopify are excellent options. Etsy is a marketplace. On the other hand, Shopify is a complete e-commerce solution. It's classic chat GPT answer. Ultimately, the choice depends on your specific business needs and preferences. How would you figure out what types of patterns were most interesting or most desired by YouTubers for thumbnails? Analyze competitors, survey potential customers, monitor trends, test and iterate. So you're kind of seeing here that to the extent that you have any starting point, you might have better luck right now with something like ChatGPT, if your goal is to really just start to think through what the steps between zero and an idea would be. Anyways, that's Agent GPT. I still think it's obviously extremely impressive technology. The fact that you can input a, a goal in a sentence and have just so much of the task list laid out for you and even see how it would start to go about that task list is going to be an enormously productivity enhancing tool, right? So even though maybe these AI agents aren't quite at the stage yet where, at least in these implementations, again, we're not using any code, we're just using what someone has, you know, put together inside of a, a week or two after these technologies have uh, become available. But in that case, they're not doing the sort of autonomous thing entirely, still super impressive. Anyways, guys, that's Agent GPT. Go check out the video where I tried something similar on God Mode and see what you think. Peace.